Alrighty, so we're making our way back here. Team Rocket Box. Big shit out. Little of decals on their XBs. Pretty dope. Descendants. Look at the XBs. We'll try to squish you in here, uh, showing some love to the XBs. I like that. I love that. You know, you're just meeting with random people and showing love because of the same car that you guys drive. And that is the the that should tell you we're we're more alike than different we shouldn't get our our political views and all these other things getting between us but wait it does so as i mentioned the 911 is the car that i've been eyeing the other car that i've been eyeing is this a lotus it's it's a different animal than the porsche but it's an amazing animal in itself 170 horsepower NA um, If I'm not mistaken, yep, this one's the Lotus Elise The body looks super super just exotic looking um, it, it might be very uncomfortable, but it's a go-kart a legal go-kart uh, It weighs under 2,000 pounds and 170 horsepower is more than enough in my opinion So that's the other car that I've been considering uh but i don't know if i don't know if that would be a another choice that i would want to go with and this nsx just looks gorgeous like i said we were going to cover these trucks right here you guys have been coming to the events for a while now And this truck, I absolutely love it. I really, really like these trucks. <clears throat> love the wheel and tire setup. Love the tire, the way it looks. Alrighty. So after 30 minutes, we are finally entering the main event, which is on this side, we have the 30s. On this side, we have the 510s. It's just a friendly competition. We're going to start now digging into the uh, 510 side first. And then from there we'll go. Gorgeous trucks. Absolutely gorgeous. Excuse me. Okay, before we start with the 510s, we're going to take a look at this gorgeous Integra. I do apologize that if it's loud and, you know, it's hectic, but... So, last time I said something about the vibe of a certain meat. <laughs> oh, wow, I see CRX is gorgeous. Last time I said, uh, I was at a different meet and I just said it's a little too crowded for my taste. Um, this... It's also a little too crowded for my taste, but there's a huge difference. The difference is the type of builds and the type of owners that come to these meets. One, they're older. Two, as you can tell, we're mellow. None of that revving, you know. Your car looked nice, man. Huh? Your car looked nice. Saw you coming out of the, the 57. Oh, yeah, dude. I was bombing. Ass. I was bombing a little bit right Guys, there. Guys, nice right? to meet you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna look for that rust. <laughs> that was a good buddy. We interviewed him when he's green 510. Um, he's so funny. He's like, yeah, man. I didn't have time to wash it. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> your car is super clean. Look at this. What? It... I swear, you car enthusiasts are the worst, man. You guys are the ones that have the most um, detail orientated, and you guys are the the ones that nitpick your car the most. So we're cruising over here. And uh, big shout out to Rival Gabe. Check out Rival Rival underscore Gabe on Instagram if you want some of those stickers. Pretty cool. So we're cruising, and then we just see this guy come out of the freeway hauling ass. Takes a badass turn, by the way. Not unsafe or anything. There was no cars. It just it looked pretty badass. And I'm waiting on a stoplight, and then all of a, I'm I'm cruising to the stoplight, and I just see him coming out just. Ah, oh, took a nice turn, 
it, it was I don't know how to explain it. It's one of those moments where you're like, yep, yeah, it's a 510 right there, just hauling ass. The guy's enjoying it. I happen to know the guy, uh, which is pretty cool. It's dope. I love the fact that he uh, dressed up. I love that, and I and I truly mean that in a positive way. Um, I think it's cool that he feels confident to come out. It's Halloween yesterday, or or I'll put it out there. Maybe that's the way he dresses, and it's not even for Halloween. So if that is the case, I do I do apologize, but I like it. I like I like learning about different. Um, different cultures in and the way they go about doing things which is pretty cool so this is a 510 side apparently one of these 510s will win a burrito whoever the favorite one <laughs> work wheels very nice clean very nice blue right here Super nice. But so my question to you guys is this. Why did, why did Ray park there? This is not an E30. This is an E36 Basura. Why? We're going to have a problem with Ray. Speaking of Ray, Ray wheels here. <laughs> nice. Uh, perfect day for a convertible. Super nice. Morning, good morning, good morning. This is super cool. race car stuff two-piece rotor bbk wow look at this sorry holy so this is a coupe wow that's a long this is dope this is really cool to see the blue bird this is really nice I really like the fitment in the rear gives me that uh, B BTTC JTTC look vibes wow. the homie Armando and my brother oh my god it's a superstar shut the fuck up <laughs> stupid <laughs> sorry do you know so <laughs> sorry time I guess um, <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing any watch and talks for a while <laughs> the reason why is every time I do a watch and talk something happens let me begin by saying number one I did the watch and talk I got wet that was like two months ago and then um, I was sick for about a month okay that was the very first time Second time I watched the car, I'm like, I'm not going to get wet. I'm going to make sure I don't get wet. I have no idea. I think, one, I had, for that month, I didn't do anything. Stayed home. Oh, my God. This color. Oh, shit. Um, this is gorgeous. Sorry, my story has to stop because this is absolutely gorgeous. The color, the wheels. It's perfect. Wow. So, so then I wash the car, and um, I don't, I don't get wet. So that's that's good, right? But I hadn't done anything for the entire month. <laughs> I think when I was washing the wheels and drying them, I don't know if I buckled my knees. At the end of the video, you guys can see where I'm like, oh, something cracked. Well, ever since then, both of my knees have been hurting, and of course, you know, Google helps. I looked it up on uh, on Google and the very first thing it says you gotta lose weight phone. <laughs> like damn it. So I gotta lose weight, one. Good morning man. And uh, so I gotta lose weight. And number two, I need to do more exercise. Which I find ironically, because if my knees hurt, they want me to do more exercise, therefore hurting more. Whatever. Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh my god, this is absolutely clean fish will look oh so clean 
Copper vent. What's going on? It's like Carson Coffee. Oh. Yeah. Once a month here, yeah. I thought you were part of it. <laughs> yeah, on Sunday, the first Sunday of the month here. Yeah. Cool car. <laughs> That's funny. Check out a motor van enemy. Subscribe, like it. <laughs> oh, this is nice. A little shoe. All right. So we're gonna take a break from now the other side, which is gonna be the E30 side. Off-roading, nice. Ooh, this looks cool. Really, really nice. So, this is gonna be the last line, and then after that, I'm gonna enjoy my, my myself with my brothers. It's cool. Uh, with my brother and uh, and Armando, because not everything has to be lived through a camera. See, that was tweetable. You should Twitter. I'll give you guys permission to to put that on your Instagram. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying but anyways so yeah my knees have been hurting both of them I've been putting pomadas uh, I don't know how to say it in English creams I guess um, this is nice and um, we'll see we'll see how it goes it's kind of kind of sad I'm only 29 but you know what everything catches up to you guys I remember I used to play sports without warming up I was like sure let's play basketball why not you know, right away. And, uh. Here he is. What's up, sir? Hey, good to see you. <laughs> this is no longer a small event. It's, yeah, it's kind of a little bit, you know, bigger, I guess. <laughs> the host of the event being nice and humble. But us in, oh wow, this is gorgeous. Uh, 280 ZX, dope. This is the ladies driven, 2002. It's cool. Now we're starting to the E30, kind of. Um, this is supposed to be 30, but they put the 2002s here, and apparently Ryan put his E36 as well. Um, they should be disqualified, it's just insane. <laughs> Love this midi look, oh my gosh. So Armando was gonna was in between these wheels and the wheels that he has now. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, he still wants new wheels. So maybe this could be another option for him. Maybe he saw it in red and he likes it. Let me come this way so I don't get in front of the guy's camera. And this is a homie Armando's. Love the wheel setup that he went with. Pain is looking majestic. My guy went all the way to Mexico in this height. Crack his pan. I already bought a new one. That's that's funny. Showing some love. Much, much love. Thank you. Thank you for that, Armando. <laughs> He's so funny. He actually woke up this morning. I don't know why. I was surprised. I was like, you're going to wake up? He's like, yeah, I'm already up. I'm like, oh, nice. So he woke up and we're happy about that. And we're going to go eat afterwards because that's what we do. Excuse me. I've been DMing with this gentleman right here, super clean 2002. He said he just got some work done to it. I think it needs to be tuned. And after that, it's good to go. However, he's shy. He says he's shy, so he doesn't want to come out on camera. So I said, you know what? We'll figure something out. This S2000, S2000, 2002 deserves the history to be told. It deserves it. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with the way he has it, the color of the wheels and the color of the car in itself. So now we're officially in the E30 world. This is awesome.
absolutely amazing build. That FEMA in the rear, BBS wheels. So BBS wheels and E30 go like RPF once with everything else. I still like them. I don't care if people do redo it and do them again. It works. <clears throat> Hell yes. White body Civic. Dope hatch. Super dope hatch. Love, love the hatch. Yeah, as you guys can tell, it's definitely getting a little packed. And there's Ray moving his 36 It didn't belong there to begin with. Hey, it's a weird looking E30. I've never seen it. You cheater. Look at that wheel film it. Ray nailed it with that wheel entire film it. He has an E30. How come he didn't bring that one up? Knowing him, he probably doesn't have uh <laughs> Knowing him, he probably doesn't have uh, insurance on it, or it's not up. He has like eight cars, that's why, that's his problem. Yeah, just remember, he has an E30, I think, uh, a sedan. He needs to bring that out. That would have been perfect for here. But that E36 is super clean. No complaints at any time we, uh, we get the chance to see that car. Hey, uh, you're from the yeah, what's up, man? Automotive anatomy, right? Yeah, man, yeah, guys, nice to meet you. What's yeah, up? What's Super cool. I absolutely love seeing younger dudes with the uh, old school cars. That's that brings you joy. All right. Um, wow. Talk about a unicorn here. So uh, I just met Mike. Mike, big shout out to you. He drives a, a new record. Um, it's, it's crazy to to hear the stories how like people find different you know videos of the channel and they're like yeah you know I recognize the area. It was Kelsey Fullerton. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, so a big shout out to him. Thank you for, for the support and um, we're going to end up finishing this video with this last line. Um, I love this color. We'll see how long this video was. Um, I tried showing everybody that I could and honestly it, it just has grown so much that it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, especially for the hosts. It, it makes them feel good, you know, and for the business. Um, and that goes to show you, oh wow, this big break in the rear. Porsche brake all around. Wonder what he has packing inside. Woo -hoo. This is a little hidden treasure. Anyways, um, like I was saying, uh, it goes to show you, to everybody out there. And, and this is what I told people. Uh, comment sections and things like that especially with the people that uh, comment like oh I wish I had that in my city or I wish I had that in my state and all I'm saying is why don't you go take the initiative and you do it yourself you start it not everywhere's gonna show up uh, but that's okay the whole point is that you get it started the whole point is that you do something out of your comfort zone and even if nobody shows up the very first time it's okay so bottom line what I'm trying to say is the the host of this meet didn't start with all these cars showing up the very first time he did it about 20 cars showed up and i'm and i'm being generous i think it was less than that um but i showed up because i like to show some support to the smaller settings um and you know that's the reason why i'm here now what i'm trying to tell you guys is if there's anybody out there who's uh, thinking about starting something or wish he or she you know could host something do it people just want a place to to show up the, the negative side to it is that a lot of people don't want to host a lot of people don't want to do the, the the work behind it and 
that's what I'm saying. I'm super stoked to the fact that the the host of this meet, you know, I told him this is no longer a small event. He's like, yeah, it's a little bigger now. Um, but it's, you know, about three or four months ago or five, you know, he was just, he was going and saying, personally thank you so much for for showing up now he can because there's just so many people um but this is i want to uh finish the, the video um showing some love to mike he's clean clean accord um going with the vip setting type of thing got the manual got the 2.0 uh turbo if i'm not mistaken super super dope static crack his uh oil pan apparently last time <laughs> but that won't stop him from going um i thought i was gonna end it but then i saw these cars and i was like no we gotta show some love to this car nice miata 86 you guys already know how we feel about those it's gorgeous and then the porsches and the brz and for sure this will be the end of the video um just because i don't know where my brother and armando are <laughs> i gotta go find them now um but yeah pretty pretty cool cars as you guys know like i told you guys i'm kind of this, this is what i'm looking for 911 carrera or a lotus elise top two choices i guess we shall see patience 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 of virtue now to some of you who may be like man you sell out like what the hell how come we don't get a honda the thing is the type r i i wish it was uh, a little bit more exclusive but they created so many that i feel like man so many people have them okay now that's that's just what i'm saying that's just my thing two there's a lot of other cars that i really like hence that's 2000 but man do i really want to spend x amount of money and then be running into issues because somebody else you know owned it and and used it however they felt like using it i don't want to be dealing with that oh man this color is absolutely gorgeous now i don't know but I feel like it's been wrapped. And the answer is, I think, yes, no wonder. I was like, hmm, it's a little bit off. But still, I like I like that color. And it's very, very hard to find that color. And I don't even know if they have that color. No, they do have it on the base. And it is another um, higher trim, you would say. Uh, the four is green. I forgot the name of the actual car. Um, pretty nice color. Showing some love to the off-roading. And the van, it's the van stock, but it looks pretty nice. Those vans look really stock. Alrighty, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the, the support. Um, I think it's gonna be a two part video just because there's so many nice videos. Um, and like always, big shout out to everybody who says what's up, uh, everybody who has commented. And um, yeah, uh, we'll catch you guys on the, on the next one as uh, car is getting a ticket from some of the cops. Peace. <laughs>